Okay, what I want to do is uh, point out uh, some of the different mechanical features on the new Roy Benson TR-101 trumpet I recently purchased. It has several interesting features that uh, sparked my interest in it. And some of them are obvious and some are not so obvious. As the thickness of the bottom caps are thicker than uh, most trumpets in this particular. This is a different trumpet. This is a band now trumpet and thinner. The bottom caps are thinner. You can see that. And here's the Roy Benson model. The bottom caps are a little thicker. And up here, valve caps here, they also are thicker. Can't see too much from that angle. And speaking of thickness, you can notice right here the receiver is thicker and it's kind of uh, tapered at an angle maybe you can see it better this way let's see you can see how it's kind of tapered and you can also notice the bow right here is very much at an almost 45 degree angle which most trumpets are not as you can see with this one that's a more traditional almost square type bow and on the Benson model the tuning slide is also taped, made at an angle. You can see the very pronounced angle. And it uses traditional spit valves, water keys, which I like better than the uh, Amardo, whatever they are, because those those other type keys, I found the stick. I have a trumpet where Amado water keys, and they get stick. And while I'm here, <laughs> that always happens when you don't want it to happen. Okay, we get the uh, third tuning slide. It's uh, made in a different way. It secures the tuning slide with the adjustable part. It gives it a better security. Here's the traditional type here. As you can see, it just has, it doesn't have a bracket to secure to give it added security this right here okay and you can see on this one the tuning slide also is conventional square type of uh, shape Other than that, uh, those are the most uh, interesting things that, uh, about this Benson, I guess, is the angle of the tuning slide and the bow. It gives the airstream a different uh, 
way to travel. And here's the bow. Got to almost 45 degrees. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. And uh, it's the bell itself. You can see it's pretty straight. Going up there, up to the bell of the horn, and the receiver. And uh, those were some of the things I just thought would be interesting for trumpet players uh, to notice with this particular student model. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you got some interesting information about trumpets from this video.